as you've heard, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, we are back at our house for right now, but in a moment, we'll be heading down into the depths once more. There's still plenty of stuff to explore down here, and I really wanna keep busy with it. Mostly, I wanna clear out different, you know, light roots that I still need to get, but on top of that, there's little sections that definitely have some treasure I need to find, and the first one I wanna to get to is actually over here. You might be thinking, how do we even get over to these islands? Well, there should be an opening right down here. I have it marked on my map. I haven't explored any of these four islands, Davdi Island, Knuckle Island, Ankle Island, or Tinkle Island. So I figure now's probably a good time to get started with it. They're right over here by the house, so it's pretty convenient. I just have to fly over there. We'll explore the islands a little bit just to get things started today, but then we'll hop into the depths and see what the, that really leads me to. It should be some kind of cool treasure, and I'm looking forward to that for sure. So the island itself starts way over there, so we just have to get over there. This is sort of the back end of it, so I just sort of wanna do them all in order to try to prevent myself from missing anything. And while we're out and about, I should also change my gear so that we have the Korok mask. I don't want to miss anything if I can avoid it. See, I guess for right now we're just running all the way over to that island and we'll get started. All right, it seems like we've made it to the entry area of the island. I did want to check around here really fast because it looks like there might be a few things, who knows. Uh, there's a little building, is there like a well around here? I guess not. Okay, so yeah, all these islands have me really intrigued, but oh, there's a Korok seed somewhere according to this mask. Where exactly? Hmm. I'm not seeing too much over here, so it could just be on this side of things. It's definitely somewhere nearby. Uh, I know that we found that one trine over there. Is it something with this? Seems a bit odd. Uh, I don't think so. If I were to just do this. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think that's anything. Um, huh. I don't wanna go too crazy with it, but uh, maybe we can come back if there's a Korok seed over here. But anyways, I wanna go to Davdi Island over this way. We're gonna cross this scary bridge. Could it be under the bridge? No, no, oh no, not good. I didn't immediately want to fall. <laughs> it's okay, I can just land right here. I mean, it seems like there's an upward draft of some sort. Whoa, here we go. It doesn't bring me too far up beyond where we already are. But these islands seem to have a lot to them. So that's why I wanted to start with all this first. And is this, this isn't even the southmost part of it. So really just trying to explore around and get a good idea on like what we can find here. Cause I can only imagine that there's some caves associated with this area too. Or something of interest. I definitely want to fly around and figure that out. Cause like, what's up there? Hmm. Right now I'm getting pushed way up. Whoa. Okay, yeah, definitely a Korok seed over here. Can already see it. So I'll get up to this one. What will this one be? Oh, just gotta get over there. That shouldn't be too difficult. We'll have tool and push us over and uh, got it. Nice, pretty quick Korok seed there. I just spent a bunch of these at the end of last episode, so I don't have a ton at the moment, but that's fine. I don't really see much else going on in this island, so I might try to climb up to the top of it, just to see if there's anything of interest I missed, because I didn't technically even go over top of it. There's some stuff to grab. Got an armoranth there. Oh, got it. And what about over here? On the very top of this stuff. Doesn't look like much. So I guess we're good to move on to the next island. And there's a lot of the scaffolding along the side. I don't quite know why that is. I mean, I guess a long time ago there was stuff built on this island. Seems like a weird place to build anything though. Maybe that's why they gave up. I'm not seeing too much around these. Whoa, what about this? There's a bunch of rocks over here. Could these be anything? I see one, two, three, four, five, and then the sixth one over here. But I'm not hearing the Korok mask go off, so I don't know if it's any kind of Korok seed kind of thing. 
I'm definitely missing some stuff though. So we'll, we'll go back up from here. Yeah, I sort of skipped out on most of Knuckle Island. So let's get back over there, just like this. Get boosted up a little bit, and then fly over towards us. The sun is starting to set. Or actually, no, I think it's starting to rise. Cool. Oh, and there's some monsters over here too. This is a weird set of islands so far. There's just not a ton going on. Wait a minute. This has gotta be a monster, right? Or maybe not. Whoa, hey, that's a monster. We got the choo-choos coming in, but I'm just gonna grab this really quickly and get five bomb flowers. Awesome. I'll take a little prize. That's fun. What about over here? At the tippity top of this. Still not seeing much, besides a frog. I definitely need to grab. But uh, yeah, not much other stuff. I guess we'll just keep to the top of things because I'm not really seeing much of anything anywhere in terms of collectibles I absolutely have to get. Either it be like a cave or a Korok seed. I haven't been getting much of that. We are starting to see some more monsters around here though. The farther we get into it, this is Ankle Island. Okay, gonna climb up to the top of this part. And oh, these birds. I think these are the rainbow ones. Yep, the rainbow pigeon. Let's get up here. And oh, there's you. You're a, oh no. A meteor wizard robe. I might just ignore you. I don't know if I really need to fight you too much because you're only gonna drop your weapon, which is cool, but nothing I need. What's on this side? Good question. This seems like something. Whoa, hey, little Geo dudes. Uh, let's try this. Boom. I guess I'll get all these, and then. We're back this way. There's a lot of little random things for each island, but this one has me the most intrigued because this is Tingle Island, which of course, we already got the Tingle outfit. But more than that, this should be where we find the little depths entrance. All right. You can already sort of see it on the minimap. Apparently somebody's still trying to fight us here. I don't see anybody. But right down this way, whoa, you can see it. We'll be hopping down there in just a moment. I might as well try to poke around the rest of this island just in case there's something cool to find. It'd be crazy if there's like a well down this way or something. Hmm. Uh. Or anything at all, really. These islands have been notably desolate besides a couple of Korok seeds, so. I'll try this one. We have to go here and there. I always forget how these work. Um, I might just have to cut this down. Is that the case? Is that what you wanted? Uh, I don't know. It's in between all three of these. You can see another sign over there. So get rid of all you guys too. Hold on. Got it. Ow. Just like that. Okay. So what's the deal with this? It looks like right here. Um, here. Maybe that's a little too far off there. I don't know how this works. There's got to be something here, right? Is it just like a tree to knock down, or what? I'm knocking down all the trees. I'm not really getting much. I don't understand. I mean, maybe if I picked up a rock and put it there, can I interact with these at all? No. Well, if I go straight from there, you would think it's just here. I don't know. I'm really confused. This seems like the perfect spot. Maybe if I spin? No. I don't see what I was supposed to do. Maybe I was supposed to climb the tree? I think that might have been the case. Anyways, I don't wanna waste too much more time with it. I wanna head right back up here. 
and hop into the depths. That's what I'm mostly interested in for today, so I just don't wanna waste any more time. Please don't fall, thank you. <laughs> so many choo-choos around here though. But right over here, ignoring you and heading straight down this way. Whoa, here we go. Whoa, spooky down here. Gotta go even farther down. As you can see, this is Tingle Island Chasm. And this should be a totally unique spot. Whoa. And it's already lit up down here. I guess technically there's not too much to do in that way. And I'm just looking around to see what we can find. It's mostly just gonna be getting down to that treasure chest spot. Of course, if we can take on a couple of other guys, maybe that's worth it. But I don't wanna get too carried away with it. How do we get from one section to the other? There should be an opening somewhere right there. Oh, I see. So let's get down this way then. And if you know Bo can pop up, I'm just gonna have you go boom, boom, nice. Get a couple of Poe along the way. We'll definitely have to cash in our Poe some point today. That sounds worth doing. I think I might drop this stick. Pick that up for later. And for now, just use this rock hammer. And we'll keep busting things through. All right, we're gonna continue pushing through. You know, Bo can help me out a bit too. There's a lot to this one, and that one's finally broken. So I switch over to this one we just picked up, and I need the same thing. I grab what I can, and I fuse with the rock. All right, let's keep it moving. There's so much to bust through here. Is it really just all the way through this cave, nonstop rocks? That really might be the case. And if, oh, okay, I was gonna say, if it is, maybe we could build one of those cannon things that we got before. I don't think we need to, though, luckily. Grab that, head down here, and into the next one. Whoa. Ooh, let's grab that Poe. Right there, large Poe. Not seeing too much, ooh, wait a minute. What's up there? Anything? It could just be nothing, but just to be sure, I wanna get over there and maybe get all that stuff. There we go. I should be able to jump all the way up. Just wanna make sure there's not anything up here. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of weapon could this be? Soldier's broadsword is still a pretty good pickup, so I'll gladly take that. I think I need to, uh, no, I don't need to make space for it, so I will definitely be using that sooner or later. For now, though, I don't see anything down there, so I'd like to fly over to this side, where I guess we just have to continue busting through. All right, you know, Bo? All you, buddy. I mean, I guess, yeah, we can use Riju here too, but hold on, where'd you go? I, I get, we can't use you if you don't, come here, there you go. Charge up and boom, nice. I cleared out a lot of it actually. Between the two of them, we can make some good progress. And that's before I even start swinging. And I just take a couple of swings and then it should be back to Yonobo as soon as he shows up. Nice, ow, the rock hit me. And is that enough to sneak through? It looks like it is. Gonna take that opportunity and just keep moving. What will this next island have for us? And it looks like there might be more overhead too. I might be wrong. I'm wrong. Okay, so, hmm. This one goes down pretty deep. We gotta go over to that. Area with the blue rocks. I got a couple more of the deep firefly. I needed those for sure. So I'm happy to pick up a good chunk of them. And there's another thing here. This one is just for a spear, I think. Yep. Uh, is it better than this? It's not, so I will leave it. But good to know. Let's get up this way. And we'll start busting through this one. And this will be the last one we need and then we get the X marks to spot. I'm really curious about it. So first you and then read you if you're not too far off. Charge up and boom. Now this stuff definitely takes a good couple of swings to get through. So if I could just break this 
like that. We can pick up another. I don't see any rocks around though, so might take us some time. Ooh, there's a rock. So I will, boom, do a bit of that. We're getting a lot more stuff out of it too, so that's good. Okay, we're getting a lot of Claymores. They are everywhere. One more swing and Yonobo should be ready. All right, come on. Nice. Ryuju. Actually, I might not need Ryuju just yet. We have a whole bundle of Claymores down there, but I'm just gonna run through, and as you can see, we're on to the last one. We're somewhere around here. We have a treasure chest. What else do we have here? Anything? I don't think so. All right, we're good to just head over here and grab this. So what will this be? I'm so curious. Probably a piece of gear. Cap of the Wind. According to legend, the, this cap was treasured by a hero who traveled the Great Sea. It flaps quite serenely in a soft sea breeze. That's amazing. So if I were to um, pull up everything here and do it by set, do we have the full set of that one? Um, Cap of the Wind, Tunic of the Wind, and Trousers of the Wind. See how we have the full Wind Waker set up. That's so cool. So yeah, we finally got one of these completed. Besides the Link Awaken Link's Awakening one that we did through the Misco Treasures, this is our first full Depths throwback costume. So awesome. Uh, whoa, 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 okay, I guess I didn't appreciate that I took that stuff. Oh no. I was about to start looking for what we should do next, but oh my, it looks like we have to fight this guy first. All right, boom. I got a couple of them there. Let's try that again. Ready? Oh man, man, I'm, I'm in trouble. Royal bow is damaged. There we go, there we go. I'm doing a lot of damage to you though. One more time, nice. Uh, We have a little bit more left to go there, but if I switch over to uh this, maybe I can just finish it off myself. Hold on, there we go, one more. Nice, I'm sure Ganon is gonna pop up here in a second. Phantom Ganon, oh no, where are you at? That bow is out of juice, but I have a couple more just like it, so it should be fine. Ooh. Oh, I missed ya. No, wait, 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 wait. Oh, scary. Okay, here, I'm just gonna jab you a couple of times. Luckily, ah, you are much easier to fight than you used to be for me. So that's pretty good. Oh, wait, gotcha. Everybody swing on you! Come on, ooh. Oh, come on, that should have been a, a, a good dodge there. I guess a moment too late. Ah, oh, that one was too slow. Darn, just keep swinging, because we almost got you. Ah, oh, get out of here. One more time, boom, gotcha. So you're just gonna drop a Gloom Sword, which I guess I'll pick up. I don't know if I need like another Rusty Claymore. Or actually, I probably need this Rusty Broadsword even less. So there we go, Gloom Sword and the Demon King bow, and some dark clumps. Pretty cool, so that is this area cleared out. There's not really too much more we need to do there, but we do have plenty more X marks to spots to get to, and the first one I wanna do is right over here. This is definitely not an area we poked around with too much, so if I could just run down this way to this real quick and try to get that, I think it'd be perfect. So this is definitely one of the earlier light routes that we found, so it's not too, too surprising that I didn't venture out far enough to find this thing over here, this is a mine, so I just wanna get over and get that. Um, and I don't know if this will have anything too crazy with it, but if it's an X marks to spot, I'm pretty sure that means that it has to be like a, some kind of costume item or armor. So I guess we'll find out. But I guess for the time being, it's right over there. If I could get over here and just break some more of these, I do need more of these stones. I don't know if uh, Yonobo's gonna be around, but maybe if I made some room for him. I would just like to get a good couple of these because it's really easy to get that. And then we will head up here. I don't need to get all of it, just some. Just right up this way. We don't have to do too much else at this mine. Yep, the treasure chest is right here. Boom, what do we get? It's a miner's top, whoa, okay. A shirt featuring lamps of various sizes filled with bioluminescent material made to help with excavating dark environments. So was that the same as the glowing thing that we have? Yeah, miner's mask, miner's top, and 
miner's trousers. We finally completed it. We're so glowy. That's awesome. That's a really nice set to have because now we can just sort of brighten everything up. Really, really happy to have that one for sure. So going to other X marks the spots might take a bit more time. But since we last left off in the depths, I did this Colosseum and then I didn't get these because I was so exhausted from taking on this Colosseum. There should be two light roots right here. Let's take those on now instead of getting X marks the spots just so that we can get that out of the way. So I'm on the top of this Colosseum. I'm trying my best not to fall in because if I fall in, there has been a blood moon. Those Lynels are in there waiting for me. But the first one's right here. So if I just glide across with the help of Tulin here in a second, I think we'll be fine. Oh, speaking of Lynels, I guess there are some out and about over here. Wow. Well, I've fought my fair share for now. I'll make sure we don't have a picture of you. I mean, it's just a normal line. It has armor though. I don't know if it's worth messing with. I would rather just fly down here and get our first one, the Moustus light root. Very cool. And we got it. And then there's another one just south of here, which hopefully won't be too bad to get to. It doesn't really even cover up any area. It's really weird, but that's north. It's just gotta go this way. All right, let's keep at it then. Yeah, I'm really happy that we got to finish off the minor gear, just because being able to see a little bit better down here is always preferred. But of course, it took us lighting up most of the depths to find it. So at the end of the day, was it really all that helpful? Who knows, but I can already see the uh, little bits of the light root already. Let's, uh, come on, there you go, thank you. Let's get over here and just fill this one up super quick. And then we should be able to skedaddle to some other areas. Just like this. This is the Kagoyer, Kagoyer light root. <laughs> there we go. Just to say that's done. The light root is to dispel the darkness and brighten the surrounding area. Awesome. We're making good progress so far. So with those two out of the way, what do I want to tackle next? I know that there was one way down here. So let's try this out. Shouldn't be too bad to get to, I don't think, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, so I think I'm making my way down correctly. Just trying to avoid all the gloom where I can. You can see that there's, you know, some mysterious dark spots around here. Um, and I did see there. Oh no, I thought that was, no, right here. Isn't that, oh, that's the light root. I thought that maybe I saw a Yiga clan hideout over there. I guess not. I have quite a lot of Poe. That's another thing we do need to spend soon. Right now, I just wanna go over here, the Gerudo Dark Skeleton. Whoa, what kind of beast could this have been back in its day? It's so huge. It just keeps going and going. Terrifying. Okay, I'm going to go down here. Ignore a lot of that stuff. Because over there, is that what I'm looking for? No, that's sort of the other side of it. Gotcha. Hmm. Just gonna grab some of that though. And I guess in this direction, yeah, this is the way I need to go. So even though we have the light route for this area, it's still pretty dark in these corners. I will launch one of our bright bloom seeds just because I have a decent chunk of them. Let's head up here. Us. Is it inside of the skull? Whoa. Ah, ah. <laughs> okay, you scared me. Uh, let, What should I use to fight you? Let me just use this really fast. I was not ready for that. I thought I heard like a lo low gurgle, and I guess it was you and your friend. Here, get rid of both of them if I can. Oh, there's more coming too. Gotta be careful here. Our blue white frocks pulverizer. It's getting low on health. I got the master sword here, but I definitely need to combine it with something. So if I go back over here, use attack power. I got a couple of these now. I'm, I wanna save them though, when I really, really need them. Let's do the silver old office horn. That seems good enough. Okay. You guys better be ready. I'm tossing one of these in just to brighten up the area. And then go. Whoa, whoa, flurry rush time. Come on. Okay, you're done. Switch to your friend. 
Ooh, just trying to get you stuck against the wall. So when you get knocked back, we can just keep swinging on you. Come on, a few more and we got you. That was really cool. Got some Zonite back over here. Wanna pick up whatever you dropped. Looks like over this way. Some more silver horrible and stuff. So where is this treasure chest? Is it above us right now? It's gotta be, it's gotta be up here. Whoa. There it is. <laughs> so cool. And this has the tunic of the wild. This armor was apparently crafted for a hero who travels the wilds. Strangely enough, it's just your size. So that's really cool. Once again, if we do this by set, where is this one? So the tunic of the wild, we don't have anything else of the wild variety, but still very, very cool to get that. And then over here, I did notice there could be a new weapon. Maybe it's a weapon we've seen before. Don't really know until we walk over. It looks like it's just a normal sword. Come on, Link, please stand up. Thank you. It's just a soldier's broadsword. Okay, so that should be really everything for this corner. We've reached the far corner of uh, the depths, which is pretty nice, but we're not quite done. There's still plenty more to do all over the place, starting with what? I think that um, this stuff I was spotting before, there's a Yiga clan hideout over here. Why don't we try to fly over to that and get that done? Okay, we're floating over from that one uh, Shrine of Light or whatever it is, the Light Root. That's pretty good. And I should be able to take this one on since we haven't touched it yet. Uh, I've been trying to you know, keep an eye on all these as we pass them by, anything that I haven't done, because they can have a lot of good stuff for sure. Well, let's try this one out. Oh my, there it is. That's the thing I need to knock out. Shouldn't it be too bad? And then once we do that, we, we technically have this area cleared. I don't want to spend any more time than I have to. So just being efficient with it all is pretty high on my priority list. So I see you over here. What I would like to do is switch over. That's fine. We'll do the keys eyeball. And I knock you out. Easy. All right, so that should, right over there, boom, open up that door. We'll check that out in a moment, but first, we got a Yiga Clan notebook. There are plants down here I've never seen on the surface, but you can still cut them down into logs. They work as well as surface logs. Now you can repair rafts without carrying wood all the way down from the hideout. Glory to Master Koga. <laughs> all right, well, that was pretty basic. Right over here, I know the other guy's firing at me. I don't really care too much. We just wanna head into this, open up one treasure chest to get a large crystallized charge and in this one, a Yiga schematic. What schematic do we get this time? It's a fan boat. That seems convenient. So, with that done, what else are we doing around here? We got that Gerudo Canyon mine. I wouldn't mind going for this and for that, but then we have to start looking for some of this other stuff. So, yeah, a lot to do. Could also try this one. Hmm. I think I'll start with. There's gotta be some kind of drop down in this general area that I haven't found. Oh, what, right, wasn't there one around here that I never jumped into? Hmm. I guess it wasn't the ancient tree stump, right here. I don't think I ever did that. Hold on. Now I lost it. <laughs> Whoops. Um. I just saw it right here. Yeah, I've never been to this one. I still wanna find all these, so maybe I should try that now. <laughs> all right, yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so I do realize that this one probably won't lead to anything I haven't already found, but going into each of these depths is still important. And I don't know if we've technically even found this well or not, the Mount Daphne's well. Now I have, and going into it will just bring me into the depths. So it's been something I've been meaning to do. As you can see, boom, we're back in the depths again. And if I take a look around, I've been in this area. We've been to the Daphne's Canyon Mine. I've been down this way. There's not anything really to find, but it is still something to technically accomplish, I guess. So I'm glad I got that done. 
and now I can look for other stuff. I think we should still just go back here then. We'll go to this light route. We'll look around up this way. There's definitely gonna be a few more things to find in that direction. So I guess we can work on that. So we have to run through this little patch of trees, but then there's another Yiga clan hideout. These are always just really good to get done, no matter the circumstance. So I'm just trying to run over and we'll work on it. But this one is very well hidden out. I wonder if I were to maybe like, okay, okay, don't run me over. Don't do it. You're gonna try, but don't you dare succeed. Okay, this place is actually pretty well guarded. What if I were to just uh, <laughs> do that? Okay, worked pretty well. Um, Turn that off. Thank you. I get over here. It's like a bit of a maze, isn't it? Will this just spit me out on the other side? Uh, Not really, I get a bunch of bananas over for free. Don't mind if I do. And then maybe I could just stand on top of this thing, have it reverse. And oh my, hold on tight. Oh, we did it, nice. You, see ya, awesome. That's gonna clear this area out. I can already see the thing we need over there. Very cool. I don't know how we automatically collected all that stuff. That was weird. But um, yeah, he had a bunch of stuff over here. How did we automatically collect it? That was bizarre. Either way, I can open this up and get the two rewards inside and then we can go read the log book. So another large crystallized charge and don't forget about this. We have a Yiga schematic. This time around, it'll be, whoa, the three wheeler. Nice. We're not quite done though. I need to whoa, jump over that and read this thing. There's some kind of supply site for Zonai devices along the road. As we navigate the depths, this site is a lifesaver. Obviously, we need these devices to build transportation but they take a, a beating when they pump or bump around in the dark. I don't know what I'd do without the supply site to swap out broken materials. If whoever built this site wasn't long gone, I'd send a thank you note. Glory to Master Koga. All right, so with that cleared out, I think that means that uh, we just want to go this way, but underground. So I'll make another red marker and set it off in that direction. And that's the way we have to head. Maybe we can ascend somewhere around here. Oh, 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 where was that? Uh, okay, it just wanted me to get up this one lock. I was hoping for something a little bit better than that. I'm just trying to find a way over there without it being a total pain. There we go, I'll just do this. So I don't know exactly where it is, but I can't imagine it'll be super far. Whoa, we got the stall horses. Oh, come on. I thought I would have landed on that for sure. Come on, hop on, hop on. No, no, no. Gotcha. I don't even think we need to go that far, but. Whoa, big jump there. That was cool. I see it down this way. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I'll just have you follow this and I'll jump off. Thank you for the help. See ya. There's the light route. I'm just trying to zoom through the stuff as efficiently as we can. My goal is not to rush, but it's not to take my time. So we got the Napanos light route. I'll get that done and that'll fill up a really nice chunk of stuff. This gives me the opportunity to look around and figure out what we're off to next, because to our left, it looks like there's something right over here. This has gotta be some kind of thing, right? Here, let's also get rid of that pin, put this here. Let's get going to it. So yeah, it seems to just be straight down here, some kind of mine or something like that. We could definitely make some good work out of it. Ooh, there's some Poe over here as well. If I could grab two big Poe's, that'd be nice. Cause I think they're about 20 each, right? Almost there, got it. Okay, heading up. We'll grab these two. Oh, five each, Never mind. I think the really big ones are 20 each. Those like flaming red ones, like we see one right there. So that's gotta be something cool then, right? We'll head over and find out what is that. Oh, that's one of the uh, stone houses. The Bloopy Burrow? Whoa. I like Bloopies. I wanna see a burrow of Bloopies. Oh, there's one. So cute. 
Okay, we'll have to explore around a little bit because that is so cool. Oh, and here's a treasure chest. Um, Just chilling out on the route. And it has a large crystallized charge. Awesome. Is that all we're going to find in terms of rewards here? I'm not quite sure, but I can grab these. Lots of easy po to scoop up with that. A little bit more of the same over here. It's like a little bloopy monument. So if I attack you, don't you usually run towards a cave? What would you do down here? Oh, you can see more of them, they're so cute. Here, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't wanna have to do it, but you, you pay a lot, so. I gotta do it, we're over a thousand rupees now. Oh, there's one more. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> wait, wait, one more time. Okay, that's all I can do. I didn't realize I could attack them with my sword like that, so that's good to know. I'll go up here. And... I think that's not all of them. Okay. Hold on. I'm coming to get you. There we go. Ooh, a purple ruby from this one. That might be the most it's ever given me. Very cool. But that seems to be all of them. Bloopy Burrow. <laughs> I love it. Such a fun name too. So with that done, we need to find our way over here. And I think the best way to do that is actually to go back to this one, move to the west and just take that on. So let's get that done. So I do think I see it in the distance over there. There's that one light. Oh man. Oh, it's you again. And I haven't fought this one. I haven't. I'm pretty sure they just drop crystallized charges most of the time, but I mean, I really need those. So maybe I could take on at least one of them and then we'll keep moving. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's something I should save for later. You guys can let me know if you really want to see me get all of that. It's staring at me. It's so terrifying. Let's see what the sword is though. It looks like just a soldier's claymore broadsword, one of the two. I don't know, if it's something I've already done in terms of fighting it, I just would rather move up here because there's clearly some kind of light roots to get on this side and we just haven't really gotten over there too much. This just leads up to where we've been before. Yeah, yeah, you keep screaming at me. I don't wanna hear it. I think the other one is right down there. Okay. Don't think we've quite come across it then. But I do think it's time to jump and fly. I'm not seeing any light roots just right off the bat, but we're sort of turning a right here. Hard to see exactly where this one would be. Uh, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. Cause like I said, I'll tackle it later. Right now we're going this way. That light route we already have. So which one is that? That's that one way over there. So I just need to, oh, okay, I see some in the distance over here. I would like to switch to this and to switch to this and really light some stuff up. I think it sort of hit an obstacle, unfortunately, but it's fine because it might be a good new sword. I don't know which one it is, but there's still a chance you know, these might drop something I don't have. This one's a Gerudo Scimitar. I definitely have that one. Can I drop anything for? I'd probably wanna drop this, right? There we go. I see you over here. I wouldn't mind knocking you out just for the, the chance of getting some easy arrows. Maybe, oh no. Get out of here. You didn't even drop any, you just dropped the bow. All right, but I will go up this way because I do see maybe a treasure chest to get. And also you might be able to drop a couple of things. So see ya. What do we got in here? Make quick work of it. Giant bright bloom seed time five. That's actually a pretty decent reward. Did you drop any arrows out? Yes, you did. So I'll take those and I'll be on my leave. See ya. So what happened to that uh, light route? Is the problem, I, I really don't know. So I'm just gonna launch three of these up here. Ooh, that makes it a lot clearer oh, on maybe where we're supposed to go. Cause I'm pretty sure this light route that we're heading towards is for a shrine I've yet to find, which always makes things a little bit more complicated, right? But nothing we can't handle. Especially if I can get under this thing, I should be able to ascend through it, making this a whole lot faster. All right. Really nice to see that. We still have a bit to climb here, but it's knocked down quite a lot too. 
Got it. That went way farther than I anticipated, which means I should be good to just go up here. Come on, Link, you got it, okay. Reaching another building section, I see this one here. I should probably mark these. I had the markers. I sort of fell so out of habit of doing that because I used up all the markers and then just didn't have any for a while. I just forgot. See, I guess there's one by Lake Lumini, which would make sense. There's also gonna be one here. So it's probably the one I'm looking for, is the Lake Illumini one. So if I just fly over this direction, I see it over there. And pick up a couple of Poe along the way too. But it is nice, you know, we got all this extra brightness from this gear. Gonna grab that bomb, and then I see this guy. I don't see the easy way in just yet, but We'll find an entrance somewhere. The farther we get along with this, the more well guarded they become. There's gotta be a way for them to come in and out, right? So, if I walk around the whole thing. Uh oh, I hear them above me. I guess they didn't see me. <laughs> Even though I'm just sort of a, a walking, glowing thing right now. Yeah, I don't know if there'll be an entrance or not. We are just going to activate this really quickly because that'll make it way easier to see whether or not we can get in there or if I'll have to get a little more creative. So the Kawa Karat Light Root. Look at all the stuff, this will clear up right there. Very cool, so I'll just climb right up this thing and we'll see for ourselves if I can get in. So I think if I just do this, uh, okay, a little bit more. Uh -oh. I probably shouldn't have done that much. I, did, I was not even paying attention to my stamina. Good idea, awful execution. I don't need to do any of that though. I can just walk over here and ascend up this part. All right, I see you. You see me. See, I just go up there. Ow, come on. I wonder if I could just ride your thing backwards like that and then just stand on top of it. Come on. Just enough to get up here. Thank you and then just keep doing that until you reach the top of it. Uh, okay, I can climb from here. That's not too big of a deal. Oh, and there you are. Uh, oh, come on. Gotcha, nice. All right, so this one is in the clear. Let's open up this building that we're right behind. And afterwards, we'll try to find the uh, the log as well. So for right now, crystallized charge. That'll be 20 extra points. And over here, a Yiga schematic. This one is the instant scaffold, which we climbed up a moment ago. Always nice to have such things. If I can fly over here, I can get a Poe. We can slam whoa, right down this way. There's something odd about the wall stretching from the floor to the ceiling. It looks artificial, not natural at all. But there's no entrance and I can't blast my way through. I'm sure there's some kind of treasure inside. How can I reach it? I can't dig. Maybe I should try the surface first. If I remember right, I feel like there would there were some similar man-made ruins on the surface called Lome or something. Glory to Master Koga. What are they talking about? Is there some kind of wall around here? There we go. Oh, I got 10 arrows out of that? Nice. Don't need the Bright Bloom Seed. I wouldn't mind the Duplex Bow, but I don't wanna. Well, actually, I don't need this. There we go. Got it. I do need to get another sword that can break stuff open. And I have this Rusty Claymore. I just need to find a rock to combo it with. But there are some extra arrows. I really need to start breaking these things again for all the arrows that they can give me. Nice. Cool, so, basically finished up with this area. I need to move over here now. That might be a little bit more difficult because that sort of goes down a lot on the surface, which as we've learned, means it goes up a lot here. So we have it on the map, it's off in this direction. Are they talking about this whole thing? Sort of hard to tell. All right, yep, I know you're firing at me. They're not gonna do too much about it. We just go off this way. 
maybe from over here, actually, if I could. Let's see what I can build. That might help me out here. Just some kind of flying thing. The fan plane or the riding plane. The riding plane seems good. It's 27, which is pretty expensive. I should try to find one of the building spots first. I see a couple of them potentially around. That's always a better idea, right? I can save some of my ore that way. Because I see it over there. It's just a matter of getting over to that section. I don't want to fall all the way down to get there. But this spot isn't too much of a decline, so that's good at the least. We should be able to use that to get most of the way over if we can build something good. Let's see what we can build. Maybe not the position I want it though. So, riding plane. Yeah, I can put most of it together. One more, come on. Uh, I guess I don't need that fan. All right, that'd be 18. That's a lot more affordable. So, oh, there's the minecart on the bottom. Gotcha. It's like, why is it still so pricey for what it is? Now I know. So I wanted to sort of go out this way and then we'll sort of turn it to the side. I mean, I think that's the way to do this. All right, let's find out. Oh, it has flames in the front too, just for the extra pizzazz. Off we go. So we just turn this thing around and we fly it straight over. It's a little bit of a slow moving one, but we have so much battery here that I'm not too worried about it. I just gotta watch out for the potential obstacles I already see over here. There's a big tree. All right, come on. Gotta turn up a little bit. It's definitely a heavier vehicle, and because of that, I actually don't know if we'll make it up this hill. Ooh, you're kidding me. No way, no way. All right, abandon ship. I gotta just climb from here, which honestly shouldn't be so bad. Especially if I could just climb to the side here real fast and just stand here for a second. Got it, okay, keep jumping. I think we made it, I think we made it. Nice, I can run the rest of the way there without an issue. It still saved us some time doing all that, I think. Oh, there's a tree in the way. <laughs> okay, just a little bit more to go and we have reached the light route. So yet another one of these unlocked is always great to see. And also, I don't know if I made mark of it, there's clearly a uh, Shrine of Light there, so I need to go check that out at some point. But the Sasag Light Route at the Tabantha Frontier Depths will fill this one out. And look at all that. Very nice. Now this area looks a little desolate in terms of there actually being anything around here. I'm not seeing any kind of object of interest, but there's clearly something here. But for that one, I feel it could be pretty easy just to fall back down this way, go around. I think that's what we should probably do. All right, so I'll go to this, I'll go down here. Let's make a marker with the yellow one and get to it. So I just fell in from this entrance and I can immediately tell that there's some areas that are actually higher up than our entry point. But honestly, that was still a good start that if I just run over here, it should clear out the most of it, I would think. So we'll just get up this way and start running over. And I think we won't have too much of an issue just getting to where we're trying to get to. Okay, get up here, pop down for a second. And then have I gone down there? I don't think I have. So two things to keep note of, this and I see you, that. We'll come back for those. Those are lower down, so I just don't wanna go all the way out of my way for it just yet. If I can go over here and get something entirely different. So, just like that. Ooh, what is that over there? It looks like something potentially new. Knight's Claymore, it's not new, but might still be worth having. I feel like that would have a lot of durability to it. I think there's a light route we've already gotten over there. Okay, can pick that up. And we're heading towards my yellow marker on the map. Oh, a bunch of guys over here, I didn't even notice. Almost at the 800 Po. I've been just trying to collect a little bit of everything everywhere. And I feel like we're making good progress because of that. All right, just a bit more in this direction. I'm pretty sure, yeah. And then what's the green marker? That's the, uh, okay. That's the Yiga hideout we just saw. Just 
just a little bit more. I just gotta let my stamina come back. And I think that's it. No, it's not. That's a totally different one. So I can put that on my map soon. But first I would need to remove another one. So <laughs> I could maybe save it. I don't think it'll be hard to notice once I get to this. Okay, so you know what? Yeah, remove the yellow one and then make the yellow one that one because I'm heading straight to this one anyways. Very cool. So this one's just way far off down this way. So I will have to probably jump down from the top of that thing again, from the actual opening, to get to some of the other stuff sooner or later, but I'm not too worried about it. And oh, there is another Yiga hideout here. I should probably just hop for that straight after this so that I don't have to worry about the fact that I'm out of markers. On, almost there. This will be another one. We're making fantastic progress with so much stuff. The Karo Nui Light Rune. Look at all of that that it clears up. So in this water to the south of us, there, there's definitely some stuff to get. And luckily we don't need any of that to be restored. We already have all of our hearts in a good place. So let's go over here. And I see you over there. I'm on my way. Luckily this one doesn't have a fan that's like, or a fence that's ridiculous to get past. Oh, it's electrocuted in some spots, so probably don't wanna to touch the water. Sounds a little risky. But I do want to do this. Grab at least a couple of arrows. And where did they go? Right over here. So I can probably switch over to, uh, wait, get out of the water. To the duplex bow? Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Luckily, those guys are most of the time really easy to knock out. That's another Yika Clan finish shot. Very, very cool. I will go over here. Everything we do must be in service to our ultimate goal. To that end, we must mine crystallized charges. The crystals seem to contain a mysterious energy that powers Zonai devices. They are readily found in the abandoned mines in all regions. Perhaps these areas were once prosperous mining centers. The crystals are extremely rare, so when one is discovered, it must be kept under strict guard. Glory to Master Koga. Which is why they have these areas to guard all of these crystallized charges, but I'm stealing them all back. And here's another large crystallized charge. And what do we got in this one? The Yiga Schematic, very cool. All-purpose raft, that's a classic. Even has a little cooking apparatus on that one. So that's some pretty nice stuff. If I really want to, I should probably just teleport back to this one and march over here. Um, but what's to do with this? Oh, is there a shrine here? I mean, it looks pretty well lit up to me, so maybe there's not. That doesn't make too much sense to me, but uh, I'll check it out at some point. For right now, I wanna go back here and then over there. So maybe I'm mistaken, because I'm looking at this. There's already a light root here. Yeah, I don't know why I thought, or maybe I did it and I just forgot to remove. Okay, never mind. I'm good. I was like, there's already a light root over there. Well, why does it say that I have a marker there? Oh boy, it's a frox. It's a blue white frox, too. So these are pretty tough. It's been a while since I've taken one on. It might be a good idea. Hey, big guy. Let me scratch it back real quick. Whoa, he's not gonna like that too much. Let us switch to the key side and just try to damage you down. Yeah, there we go, knocked you over. I need to get on top of you as soon as possible. Go, 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 go. Just like that, just like that, just like that. And then I don't really have too much to break your stuff right now, that's the problem. I have all these weapons, but none of them are that heavy. So what if I combined, I don't know what I have that would really help. Maybe I should just use this nice Claymore. Just like that, come on. It doesn't really do much. Ooh. I mean, it's sorta of doing something. But you're about to launch me, so I'd rather just, ooh, I know, I know. Ooh, hey, it didn't work, nice. Good for me. I'm gonna switch over to this, and I'm just gonna use bomb flowers. Cause I just know how this works, you know? Oh, hi, Um, I guess before we do. Oh no. Don't you dare, don't eat me, don't eat me. Come on, come on, come on, no, no, no. Not good. There we go, got you pretty good with that one. We're not gonna waste any time. Bomb flowers. 
Bomb flowers. Again. Again. I can't even see what's happening right now. So many explosions. Okay, those missed. Not so good. I know what you're about to do. I don't want you to do it. Ah, uh, the belly flops. Ow, <laughs> that hurt. Um, Do I have too much here that I can eat up? I don't know if I should worry about it too much, actually. Here, I'll eat some basic food, like this over here. Maybe even some extra attack damage. To really spice things up, and then climb, climb, climb. Uh, here. And then I'm going to jump over. Bomb flower time. Again. Oh, I missed. Oh, I guess I destroyed that one. There we go. That was pretty good. I'm out of stamina though. Oh, and I might be out of hope here in a second. No, 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 no. I think it's time. I think it's time. Well, actually, I have low stamina, right? Yeah, if I do this one, I can get most of my stamina back. Get up, Link. Get up, Link. We're trapped. Not good. Okay, I dodged some of it. At this point, I am just hitting you straight in the face. And if I just attack you like this, really doesn't do next to anything. Okay, I need to climb up you. Please, what was that? Oh, that didn't work so well. Back up over here. That's the last one I need to hit. I know you're about to turn around on me. Saw that one coming a mile away. Here, one more shot with this. Got it. I need to run back onto you and just finish off this spot. Ready, and boom. Come on, a few more swings should do the trick. One more. Got it. There we go. Not an easy fight for sure, but I'm glad we got it done. Let's grab as much of this Zonite as poss possible and also break some of this stuff. A lot of it goes flying, which is why it's not always the most productive to do it that way, but it works for now. Over here, you dropped all of your stuff right on the gloom because <laughs> you love me very much, Mr. Frox. I appreciate it. Really thinking of me here. We do get some Frox guts there, I think, so that's nice. Okay, get off of this stuff. We'll run over to our light route over this way so that we can actually heal back these hearts. That was fun though, that was pretty good. I'm glad that we got it done, even if we had to use a ton of bombs. Yeah, we have, we're done to 33, so I can, uh, Try to get some more soon. But in the meantime, all I have to do is run straight over in this direction and we will open up a whole extra amount of light. That would be really good. So, almost there. And this is the Kataki light route. Activate this one and we're in the clear. Clear as day. There's, a, there's another mine down there, the light would dispel the darkness. So let's go over to that one. We get our five hearts back, our heart containers, I suppose. And I think it was the Kuho Canyon mine. I mean, the way it fades off is weird. Have I been over here or not? I'm not sure. I guess we'll check really fast. Have I been to this treasure chest? The way it fades off makes me think that maybe we have, but it could just be a weird circumstance. I don't know how we would get to this too. Is there an entrance to the depths here that I'm not aware of? I mean, I guess there are some little islands I've yet to step foot on. That could be the case, but before we get too distracted about it, let me make sure this is not an already open treasure chest. All right, almost there. The Kuho Canyon Mine. There's not even a chest here. So yeah, I have been here. Oh well. So the rest of this, it just goes on and on and on. I, is there any other X marks to spots I haven't really touched upon too much besides those areas? It doesn't seem like it. Obviously, there's still a lot of work to be done all over the place, but uh. I don't know, I think we're about at a spot where we can wrap up a little bit. What I think I'll do is get one more thing of whatever it's called. Uh, Where was it? Down here? No, no, no. I explored all that, I figured that out. It was this stuff I wanted to do. So I think if we pop out from that and fly over, we should be fine. So I'm just gonna do that again. 
Okay, so this really shouldn't be too big of a deal. In fact, I should be able to take this on before we even have to get over to the, the light route. So my problem is I don't see, oh, here you are. Are you just contained in there? Hello. No, you're not. <laughs> All right, well, that's a rude surprise, isn't it? There we go, that's gonna open up. And we'll head over. I think it was up here. Oh, and there's also a vehicle we can take from this, so that's awesome. In the meantime, though, I just wanna get over here, open this up, get our crystallized charge, and of course our schematic after. Awesome, up to almost 200 of them, which is really, really good. And we get the Yiga schematic. Flamethrower balloon, whoa. That seems excessive. I'll break this open for an extra arrow. It was right over here. We got, this region has a surprising number of ruins. Clearly something used to be active here. Relics named Zonai devices are regularly discovered in the ruins, but what are the devices? Who made them and why? It will remain a mystery. All we know is that each device has its own power and function. It would be folly not to harness this power to our own designs. We must find a way to reuse each one we discover. I just wish there weren't so difficult they weren't so difficult to assemble. Life would be so much easier if we could magically put them together. But that's just silly. There's no use wishing for impossible things. Glory to Master Koga. Well, for us, the impossible is possible. Because we have a fancy hand. All right, uh, I can't get through any of this. So I guess I'll just, I mean, I was gonna fly over, but honestly, I think I could just glide over. It's right over there. Okay, well, now I can't, because <laughs> I fell too far. So it might be some climbing required. That's all right, not the end of the world, just not what I wanted. Oh, okay, uh, here, I'll just climb up this then. Come on, Link, you got it, there we go. I guess that was good, because it's right over here. We'll just get boosted over, and almost there, come on, we made it. Here is another light route for us. So this is the Sukurukum Rukam light route. And there it is. Very cool, so we got a lot cleared out here. I think we did a fantastic job. I don't know how much more we really need to get done. Because we cleared out, look at how huge of a section it is. It's crazy to think that we'll soon enough just be able to get all this done. I mean, we still haven't, I feel like if there's one more I wanna do, it's probably this one, because I've never been over there. You know what, sure, yeah, let's just do that one right now. I'll, I'll take the Skyview Tower, fly over here, hop into this thing, and see how it goes. All right, so I'm closing in on this area, hoping we can just fly right into there and be able to get a good look around. There's gotta be at least a couple of shrines over here that I've yet to find, or I guess, uh, you know what I mean. We'll find something, we'll see. As soon as I poke my head through, I think we'll be able to spot a couple. So I'm diving right through, discovery. There's a Shrine of Light nearby. We got the Elma Knoll's Chasm. Cool. And with it, oh hey. We got you guys here. I'm gonna hold on for a second. There. And then, anything anywhere else? It feels like we're getting obscured a lot by like the stuff overhead. I'm about out of stamina. So let's fly down this way and then just, ooh. Got it. Safe landing. That's not who I need to take on. Who's got, oh, here you are. Since you're pretty far off. Gotcha. <laughs> all right, we win. <laughs> nice. Sometimes I feel like I'm cheating by doing all that, but there we go. That's another for us so that we can just get really easy stuff. We'll read the little thing here. Even the faintest light stands out in this darkness. Just look at the deep firefly. Still, the lights I've been seeing lately have been strange. They seem ethereal and they disappear when I get close. All of the Yiga reports seeing them, but no one has observed their true form. Some say that they're just a different species of firefly, but can that be true? I wonder if that's just a rumor spread by collectors who want the chase off competition. Glory to Master Koga. That's pretty ambiguous, so I'm not exactly sure what they mean. A little spooky though, for sure. Let's go ahead and open this up, get our crystallized charge and another schematic. 
I wonder which schematic it's gonna be this time. We'll see in just a moment. All right, Yiga schematic is the fishing trawler. Fancy. So I guess we can get some fish with that a lot easier. Let's get to this yellow one that we made on the map right over there. I guess we just wanna head over this way. Don't you try to, okay, that's just not nice. Leave me alone, please. Oh no, ow, ow. That's quite the defense you got. Cut it out, cut it out, <laughs> please. Oh no, this might actually really do some damage to me here. I'm trying to get away, trying to get away. Oh, come on. <laughs> that is brutal. Oh no, ow, stop. <laughs> run, run. <laughs> okay, I've learned my lesson, leave me alone. I can't even see where I'm going right now. It's just darkness and water. I guess I could maybe see with this. No, it doesn't look like there's any water around here, so I don't know what's up with this water. Uh, I think I might be reaching the surface or something. Oh my goodness, that was terrifying. Uh, let's do this. There we go. Whew. At least I'm out of the wrath of the laser. That was too much for me. I wanna get over here, and then just from this, tell me out to win. There we go, much better. I do see a couple more of these, yep, little deep fireflies. I wanna grab as many as I can, but sometimes they catch on to me pretty fast. Ooh, I got one more. How many do I have, 17? I need those to upgrade the, the miner gear that we got today, so that'll be pretty good. I just need to get to the shrine, maybe. Uh, okay, up here. And let's get to this one. So glad to get this out of the way. It is the Netamnet light route. Cool. So I'll skip some of this. And huge section uncovered. That's great. I don't see too much more to do besides whatever this is. Oh, okay. Hmm. Maybe I should run off and do this one. I just. Keep finding excuses to get more done. So yeah, I guess I had that marked, but that definitely means that over here, there's there's gotta be one. And there's also gotta be one here. That'll leave for later, I think. Um, I just don't, I gotta maneuver the croc forest again, I suppose. Uh, I've been over there. There's more stuff over here. There's gotta be another depths entrance here in the Northwest that I haven't discovered. I think that's just gotta be the case. Okay, well, something we'll worry about later. For now, which one do I wanna move towards? I'm guessing this one here, the yellow one. So we'll just go for the yellow one one more time and see how that goes. I should just be able to build a little thing to get me there, I would hope. Uh, hmm. I don't know if I wanna build a car right now. I could build this, but it's definitely gonna be expensive. So maybe I just go all the way up here. We put together a, a fan plane. Yep, fan plane it is. I only use 12 of them, so it's actually not too big of a deal. And then, oh, this one doesn't have the car under it, does it? Whoops, Um, that's not so good. I guess I don't need it because all I really need to do is take out this device and take out this device. We got two of them. Okay, we'll make two work for sure. That's not what I intended. And then get that, of course, where it's supposed to be. Get a rocket here, a rocket there. We are rocketing out of here right now. Ooh, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. No, wait. Okay, come on. There we go. I don't know why it takes so long to be able to steer. That was a little ridiculous, but I think I'll be fine. Yep, get up this way. We got it. And we're heading right over to the slight route. I'll be glad to get this one out of the way. But with that, we'll have cleared out quite a decent section of the darkness um, in the depths today. And also completed two armor sets, technically. So I feel like pretty happy with what we got done. There's clearly more to do. And I will have to get done with it soon. But let's just get this done. All right. So. 
Just gotta fly straight over. Try not to hit anything on the way over. There we go. Maybe take a little bit of a turn, because this is where it gets really dark as well. But if I can see it, that means it's more or less a straight shot over. Almost out of stamina here, but my plane is also almost done. So I'll just try to get up as high as possible so that when it does break, I just glide over the rest of the way. It seems to be working. Come on. We can even start diving down now, I think. There we go. And with that, right over here, we've got the Kawakanis Light Route. It's a lot of hard work put in today, but I feel like a lot of results for it. That's pretty nice. So, and I was about to say that that's gonna be it, but then I just realized this might be a brand new Frox. Whoa, Obsidian Frox. Let's take a picture of that, but we need to do more than take a picture of it. I need to go over there and beat him up. Okay. This might be tough. I need to eat food first, because we are hurting here. Um, Do I have anything that's gonna up my damage anymore? I do, but it's not gonna give me much health. So let's focus on restoring my health first. Just like that, awesome. Grab all of this stuff, and then let's fight you. Because we've yet to take on an obsidian frox. It should have new drops for us, I would hope. And I guess I should turn on my normal armor, because I just, I don't need it to be any brighter in here. He doesn't see me yet. So if I could just run over there, make sure that I have this equipped. And then before you notice me too much, I'm just gonna shower you in bomb flowers. There we go. Ooh. Come on. Oh, we're doing major damage to you too. Are you? Ah, ah, okay, wait. That was scary. Um. Oh no, oh no, not good. Hold on, buddy. I wonder if he's weaker than the blue-white one. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Ah, uh, it might not be fine, it might not be fine. Uh, okay, ow, I got squished. Yikes. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just trying to back up a little bit. Come on. How is that not hitting you? I just need to use the key side, because my aim is not good. I need to get a lot more of these. There we go. I'm hopping on top. And I'm just gonna start spinning with this thing. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but I guess it's something. This thing is badly broken. Darn. Um, I don't know what to use. I guess I can also do that. <laughs> that didn't really help too much, did it? Here, back it up a little bit. Help me out, Tulin. Turn around. You're done for. Right there, boom. I think there was another one right over there. Nice, one more shot to do the trick, but where? Right there was pretty good. Oh no. Uh, back to this. Oh no, we got you, never mind. Awesome, that was amazing. The obsidian frocks is no more. And with it, you drop some stuff. Let's see what you dropped here. Anything new? Yes, the obsidian frocks fang. So cool. I'll grab that, and um, everything else here is all the same, so we get a large crystallized charge and the obsidian frog's fang. A giant fang for excavating and crushing ores. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. So one giant monster to finish things off is really cool. I'll pick up a couple more of these if I can, but they're sort of scattered around. So you know what, I think we did a good job today. Let's go ahead and try to improve our battery a little bit more. Okay, so right up here, we should have enough of all this to upgrade the battery at least twice. So, get producing. Yep, 200. Not quite enough for this next full battery, but we're really getting there, especially all the Yiga Clan hideouts that we found. That makes a big difference for sure. Glad we were able to make so much progress, but as you can see, I've refined your crystallized charges into two energy wells. Ta-da! Energy well times two. There we go. And, you know, since we're over here, I have a lot of Poe. I don't know if there's anything I can get from it. Whatever I get from it, I don't know if I wanna save it for next time. Um, I'll offer Poe's. Do you have anything that I haven't gotten yet? Tunica Memories. 
Oh, because we got the remake tunic last episode, right? This is the tunic of memories. In ancient Hyrule, this garment could only be worn by one who earned the respect of the royal family. It's dyed in vibrant blue. I might as well take this one. If I don't have it for 400 posts, there we go. Um, everything else here I have. So um, when it comes to finding more of them, that's what I'll save for next time. But as you can see, tunic of memories, really cool to have that. Um, and that's in comparison to right over here we had our upgraded champion's leathers. Very similar, but this is a lot more well guarded. So yeah, really cool stuff there for sure. I'm glad we were able to have a great time and complete some armor sets. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.